With red brick basilicas that tower over the cobbles of ancient Slavic cities, Poland's beautiful churches is sure to excite you. Please don't forget to subscribe for upcoming church videos. St. Mary's Basilica is a brick Gothic church adjacent to the main market square in Krakow, Poland. Built in the 14th century, its foundations date back to the early 13th century and serve as one of the best examples of Polish Gothic architecture. Standing 80 meters tall, it is particularly famous for its wooden altarpiece carved by Wyatt Stoss. Some of its monumental polychrome murals were designed by Poland's leading history painter, Jan Matejko. In 1978 it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site alongside the historic center of Krakow. On every hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, a trumpet signal, called the Hedgnal Mariaki, is played from the top of the taller of St. Mary's two towers. The plaintive tune breaks off in midstream, to commemorate a famous 13th century trumpeter, who was shot in the throat while sounding the alarm before a Mongol attack on the city. The noontime Hedgnal is heard across Poland and abroad broadcast live by the Polish National Radio 1 station. St. Mary's Basilica also served as an architectural model for many of the churches that were built by the Polish diaspora abroad, particularly those like St. Michael's and St. John Cantius in Chicago, designed in the Polish cathedral style. The church is familiar to many English-speaking readers from the 1929 book The Trumpeter of Krakow by Eric P. Kelly. According to chronicler Jan Glugos, St. Mary's Basilica in the main square in Krakow was founded in 1221-22 by the Bishop of Krakow, Iwo Odrowoz. The building was destroyed during the Mongol invasion of Poland. Between 1290 to 1300 the new early Gothic church was built on the remaining foundations. It was consecrated 20 years later, in 1320. The church was completely rebuilt during the reign of Casimir III the Great between 1355 and 1365 with substantial contributions from wealthy restaurateur Mikolai Wierzynek. The presbytery was elongated and tall windows added. The main body of the church was completed in 1395-97 with the new vault constructed by Master Nicholas Wernher from Prague. However, the vault over the presbytery collapsed in 1442 due to a possible earthquake, which has never happened before nor since in Krakow. In the first half of the 15th century, the side chapels were added. Most of them were the work of Master Francis Ekwichen. At the same time, the northern tower was raised and designed to serve as the watchtower for the entire city. In 1478 Carpenter Moche Hearing funded a helmet for the tower. A gilded crown was placed on it in 1666, which is still present today. At the end of the 15th century, St. Mary's Church was enriched with a sculptural masterpiece, an altarpiece of Veit Stoss of late Gothic design. In 1536, King Sigismund I declared that the sermons in the church should be changed from German to Polish. The large German community of Krakow were relocating their place of worship to the smaller St. Barbara's Church. In the 18th century, by the decision of Vicar Jocek Augustin Lepaki, the interior was rebuilt in the late Baroque style. The author of this work was Francesco Posidi. All 26 altars, equipment, furniture, benches and paintings were replaced and the walls were decorated with polychrome, the work of Andrei Radwanski. At the beginning of the 19th century, the city decided that a cemetery near the basilica was to be shut down and replaced by a public square. Today, it is known as Plaque Mariaki. In the years 1887 to 1891, 
Under the direction of Tadeusz Strzegenski, the neo-Gothic design was introduced into the basilica. The temple gained a new design and murals painted and funded by Jan Mateko, who worked with Stanislaw Wyspianski and Joseph Mehorfer, the authors of Stained Glass in the Presbytery. Since the beginning of 1990s, the basilica underwent an extensive renovation. In 2003, in the final stage of the works, the roof of the church was replaced. On the 18th of April 2010, in St. Mary's Basilica, a funeral ceremony for Polish President Lech Kaczynski and his wife Maria was held. The coffins were later transported and buried in one of the crypts of Wawel Cathedral. Thank you for your interest in these wonderful marvels. I will wait for your next visit to our next church video. Take care and be blessed.